Freestyle Libre 3. Let's have a look. I received a big special box. There's still a small problem. And here is what you've all been waiting for. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom. I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you navigate your diabetes journey. The moment we have all been waiting for is here. The Freestyle Libre 3 has seen the light of day. It seems that it has only been made available to a small number of creators for now. But unfortunately, I was not one of them. So I guess thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Just kidding. Today I'm joined by Toby who already got his hands on the Freestyle Libre 3 and he's gonna show us how the third generation looks and he's gonna share his first impressions. Hey Toby, thanks so much for joining me for this collaboration video. I really can't wait to see how the Freestyle Libre 3 looks like. But before we look at it, could you please tell us a few words about yourself? Hi Tom, I'm excited to be filming this video with you. My name is Toby and I was diagnosed with diabetes in 2017. For me it's important to talk about lots of topics of diabetes on social media to not only inform and help people but also to entertain them. In early 2021 I got the message that I would be able to test the Freestyle Libre 3. At the moment I'm testing it and I will tell you all about my experience so far. Well that's amazing. Thanks for the introduction and thanks a lot for sharing your story, Toby. Honestly, I'm a bit jealous that I did not receive such message. But on the other hand, I'm so happy for you and I'm really excited to hear about your experience. So let's get right into it. Do you want to show us what you found in the package and how the new sensor looks like in real life? Yes, of course. I received a big special box. When I opened it, there was a USB stick with lots of infos, which looks like the logo of Apple a butterfly. They also sent me two plastic coins, one two euro coin and two five cent coins on top of each other. These are supposed to represent the size of the Freestyle Libre 3. I also got a letter and brochure with information of how the new sensor works and its features. And at last the Freestyle Libre 3 in its packaging. And here is what you've all been waiting for. The Freestyle Libre 3. It's so small, it's actually so much smaller than I expected it to be. It's almost unreal that such a small device can measure the blood glucose for two weeks. Really impressive. And I find it really cool how they included the coins in the special package for you to represent the size of the Freestyle Libre 2 compared to the Freestyle Libre 3. Uh, that's really cool. And I heard in your video that they actually reduced the size of the Freestyle Libre 3 packaging by 70% and that they are using 40% less plastic and 40% less uh, paper in the package. And I think that's really cool and good sign that Abbott also cares about the environment. So I'm curious, what other differences did you observe when comparing the third generation to the second generation? As you've probably noticed, the Freestyle Libre 3 is a lot smaller than the Freestyle Libre 2. For me, it's the perfect size. It's not too small and not too big. The Freestyle Libre 3 comes without a measuring device. It only can be used with the app. You don't have to hold the phone up to the arm anymore, which is a great feature. I love the continuous transfer of my blood sugar levels to my phone. Sometimes I just put my phone next to me on the desk and watch the live transfer of the blood sugar level to the app. I totally understand that because I'm using the Dexcom G6 right now, which is also a true continuous glucose monitor that is sending the data automatically from the sensor to an app on my phone, just like Freestyle Libre 3. And I can confirm I don't miss the scanning at all. So it's so great to see and so great to hear from you that with Freestyle Libre 3, you don't need to scan anymore. I mean, we will still have to scan once to activate the Freestyle Libre 3 sensor after the application and to start the 60 minute warm up time, but then the data will be fitted automatically to the app on the phone. So scanning only once in two weeks. I guess I can live with that. And I'm positive that with Freestyle Libre 3, I'm not gonna miss this Libre reader at all. Uh, by the way, can you show us how you apply the Freestyle Libre 3? Yes, of course. First, you have to disinfect the part of the arm where you want the Freestyle Libre 3 to be. Then you apply the sensor. This is much easier than with the Freestyle Libre 2. You just have to unscrew the seal and apply the sensor just like the Freestyle Libre 2. Yeah, the insertion process looks way easier now that they put the inserter and the sensor only in one piece. If you guys remember the Freestyle Libre 2 and Freestyle Libre 1 had the inserter and sensor packed separately and we had to 
push them together before we apply it. And this step is no longer necessary. You just screw off the lid and apply the sensor. Really cool. Toby, I see the sensor is so small. How does it feel wearing it? Do you even feel it? The feeling of the sensor just goes away. Also, I haven't got the feeling that the sensor will come off easily. In my opinion, the sensor is very secure. Very cool. So what I'm hearing so far is Freestyle Libre 3 is more comfortable to wear. It's less bulky. It sticks better. It's a true CGM. But what about accuracy? Has the Freestyle Libre 3 been accurate for you? In my opinion, the measurement is more precise than the Freestyle Libre 2. To test and compare the accuracy of the Freestyle Libre 3, I also measured my sugar levels with the blood monitor. The levels were mostly exactly the same. In the first 24 hours, the value were further apart, but after that, they were very accurate. Perfect. I'm really glad to hear that you got accurate readings because at the end of the day, accuracy is kind of what matters the most. Now I also want to ask you about the Freestyle Libre 3 app. How did you like it and how is it different from the Libre Link app that we all know? The app is pretty much the same. I haven't found any new functions besides the dark mode yet. At the moment there is still a small problem. Every time I open the app there is a loss of signal. It then takes a few seconds and the new level appears with the graph of the time between the last and current measurement. I think that's just a small error which will be fixed by Abbott until the release. Unfortunately, there isn't a smartwatch function for the Freestyle Libre 3 app yet, but according to Abbott, it's being worked on. You know, I find this really interesting because Abbott made such great progress in terms of the design of the sensor. They reduced the size so much, they made it send the data directly into your device, so there is no more scanning. But they were not able to make any improvements to the app other than the dark mode and no smartphone function. I mean, honestly, this is a bit disappointing. But let's focus on the positives. Toby, you have been using the sensor for a while now. So what is it that you are most excited about when it comes to Freestyle Libre 3? And is there anything else you would like to share with the viewers? As I said, I love the continuous transfer of my blood sugar levels to the app. It's great. You will always see your blood sugar levels straight away and also the fact that you don't have to hold your phone up to the arm again is a great benefit. The sensor is smaller, measures continuously and is very accurate. The Freestyle Libre 3 really is a quite lot better than the Freestyle Libre 2. With the Freestyle Libre 3 Abbott once again makes the daily life with diabetes easier. I'm sure that a lot of you who are watching this video are asking this question. When? when the Freestyle Libre 3 will be available. So today is April 20th, 2021, and I just listened to the Q1 press release call of Abbott. And they said they launched the product in Germany, they launched it to a selected group of people, and they will be launching it step by step. So probably in the coming month, it will become available in more countries in Europe. If you are in the US, you will have to wait for the FDA approval, and it's probably going to take a bit longer. And now we want to hear from you. What do you think about Freestyle Libre 3? Let us know in the comments. And if you speak German, definitely go check out Toby's YouTube channel. I will put the link for you in the show notes. Tom, I hope you and everyone watching enjoyed my first insight into the new Freestyle Libre and wish you all the best and hopefully we can film another video together soon. Maybe you will speak German in one of my videos. Bye. What? German?